Hello everyone. Welcome back to AR Study Desk. In this video, we will have a brief introduction to isometric projection. Also, we will see the methods to solve the problems on isometric projection. That is conversion of orthographic projection to isometric projection. Before going to the topic, let me ask you a very simple question. What is this? Being an engineer or an engineering student, you will easily say that this is a cube of side 40. Am I right? But if I show this to a layman, he might say that these are two squares of sides 40. Am I right? Now, if I show this figure to that person, he can easily identify that this is a cube of side 40. Why? Because this is a 3D image of the object shown in a single 2D drawing. Okay? Just imagine that you are working in the design department of a company. And if you show the engineering drawings or the orthographic projections to the customer, he won't understand anything. Why? Because he may not be an engineer. Correct? So, in order to communicate with him easily, you can use 3D drawings like this. Correct? Now, before moving to isometric, let me remind you that I will be discussing the entire topic of isometric with the example of a cube. Okay? Now, Look at this drawing. You have done this example in projections of solids. So which is this question? These are the orthographic projections of a cube whose solid diagonal is parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP. And this front view has some specialities. I will tell you that in detail. This cube is tilted such that I can see the maximum area of three faces. Which are those three faces? They are A, B, C, D, 3, 4, D, C and 3, 2, B, C. So in this position, I can see the maximum area of these three faces. Okay, And this particular view is called the isometric projection of the cube. So, isometric projection is actually the front view of a cube in orthographic projection whose solid diagonal is perpendicular to VP. And these three sides of the cube are called the isometric axis. And the angle between each one of them is 120 degrees. Here, at AR Study Desk, we will name this axis as L, B and H for the ease of doing the problems. In isometric projection, the lengths parallel to these isometric axes will get reduced to 82% of the actual length. So, if the actual length of the side of this cube was 40, in isometric projection, it will get reduced to 82% of 40. Actually, it is 81.6% of 40, but usually we round off to 82%. So, we call that 82% of 40 as ISO 40. ISO 40 means it is 82% of 40 which is around 32.64. So ISO 40 means 82% of 40. Clear? So as I said, the lengths parallel to all the axes get reduced to 82%. So this is also ISO 40 and this is also ISO 40. So all the lengths parallel to isometric axis. So for example, if I take this isometric axis H, D4, A1, B2, they all are parallel to H. So the length of all these sides get reduced to 82%. So all these sides will be ISO 40. 
similarly the sides parallel to l are 3 4 2c b a all these get reduced to isoforty and again the lengths parallel to c b that is in b direction a d 2 3 and 1 4 all these lengths get reduced to isoforty hope this is very clear to you now the angle between 3 c d is 120 degrees so what is the angle made by cd with this horizontal it is nothing but 120 minus this 90 degrees so this angle will be 30 degrees which means the line 3 4 will also be making an angle of 30 degrees with this reference line in isometric projection you don't have xy line but you call this line as base line okay so what will be the angle made by 3 2 with horizontal or the base line it will be 30 degrees okay now to summarize this is the isometric projection of a cube and l b h are called the isometric axis and the angle between them will be 120 degrees in isometric projection all the lengths parallel to isometric axis get reduced to 82% of the original length and we represent it as the iso length okay and please note that the sides which are parallel to the l direction makes an angle of 30 degree with base line towards the right similarly the sides of the cube which are parallel to the b direction makes an angle of 30 degrees with the base line towards the left and the sides of the cube which are parallel to the h direction are perpendicular to the base line hope this is very clear to you and we'll be dealing each and every question in isometric projection with the concepts explained just now now let us see how to convert an orthographic projection to isometric projection so first i will draw the orthographic projection of a cube of side 40 now we'll convert this to isometric projection as we discussed before the lengths parallel to isometric axis will get reduced to 82% of the original length in isometric projection so in order to get the iso length of any length we use isometric scale before drawing the isometric scale we should know which are the sides parallel to isometric axis in the orthographic projection all the lengths parallel to xy line will be parallel to our l axis in the top view the lines perpendicular to xy line will be parallel to our b axis in the front view the lengths perpendicular to xy line will be parallel to our h axis and you know that in isometric projection the lengths along the l direction will be 30 degree inclined towards the right side and the lengths along the b direction will be 30 degree inclined to the left side and the lengths along h direction will be perpendicular to the base line now let us draw the isometric scale first we'll draw a horizontal line whose length is equal to the maximum length of the object here it is a cube so we have only just one dimension and that is 40 so we'll mark that 40 over here now from the left end point of this line you will draw a 15 degree line like this and from the right end point of this line you will draw a 45 degree line like this and this 15 degree inclined line will give you the iso length of the true length okay so whatever you draw here you will get the iso length of that over here suppose you want the iso length of 20 what you should do take 20 over here 
and draw a line parallel to this 45 degree line like this so that you will get iso 20 over here hope it is clear now let us see how to draw the isometric projection to draw the isometric projection as we said before you will draw a reference line which is called the baseline next important thing is about the point that you should take on the baseline you can follow different methods but for uniformity in our app we'll be following a particular method and that is the point that you should mark on the baseline is the left bottom nearest point of the object now look at here left bottom nearest point left means you have a d 4 and 1 bottom means you have 1 and 4 and in 1 and 4 which is the nearest point to the observer that is nothing but 1 am i right so we'll take point 1 on the baseline now from 1 in the l direction you have the line 1 2 am i right and its length is 40 but we are drawing the isometric projection so we have to take iso 40 so from 1 you will draw a line 1 2 which is inclined 30 degree to the right side why to the right side because it is parallel to our l direction and its length will be iso 40 similarly you have an edge starting from 1 and in the b direction and that is nothing but 1 4 so this 1 4 you will draw towards the left side at 30 degrees because it is parallel to the b direction and its length will also be iso 40 that i haven't shown here now again from 4 4 3 is in the l direction correct it is parallel to l so from 4 you will draw a line parallel to 1 2 similarly from 2 2 3 is in the b direction and you will draw a line 2 3 which is parallel to our 1 4 and you get the point 3 so we got the bottom face of the cube now from 1 you have an edge 1 a in the h direction so how do you draw the h direction in isometric projection perpendicular to baseline so we'll draw 1 a of length iso 40 perpendicular to baseline similarly from 2 you have 2b 3c and 4d all the lengths will be iso 40 and you can join the top points to complete the cube also you can show the hidden parts using dotted lines like this so this completes the isometric projection of a cube so drawing isometric projection of an object is a time consuming process because you have to take the iso length of each and every length parallel to isometric axis and then draw so we have something else called isometric view which gives the idea of the object exactly like this but the drawing will be bigger than this because instead of this iso length we will be drawing using the original length that is the true length now look at here again you draw the baseline you take the point 1 on the baseline you draw 1 2 at an angle 30 degrees but the length will be 40 that is the true length similarly you will draw 1 4 towards left side at 30 degrees and then complete that bottom face of the cube and along the edge direction you take 1 a which is again equal to 40 and you complete the cube like this as you can see this drawing is bigger than this and we get the same idea of the object through isometric view also the drawing which theoretically exists is isometric projection but isometric view is used to convey the idea of the object quickly hope the conversion of orthographic projection to isometric projection is very clear also the difference between isometric projection and 
isometric view is also clear to you. Now one more thing, suppose there is a point Q over here. It is not at the midpoint, but somewhere over here. Okay. And I will draw a line A Q like this. I need to draw it over here. What should I do? You can't simply use your compass and take this distance A Q and mark it over here like this. Why? Because the line A Q is not parallel to any of our isometric axis. It is inclined. So what you should do? You should go to that point only through our isometric axis that is A D that is along B direction and D Q that is along L direction. Similarly here A D and then D Q. Then from that point you can join to A. For animated step by step solutions of isometric projection problems you can download our app from Google Play Store and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.